Technology has transformed contemporary lifestyles, but it's also driven a wedge between us and the rhythms of the natural world. Fortunately, there are ways of resetting our bio clocks and reconnecting with our inner selves. And yoga expert Devi Mohan offered to show Miller's newest team member, Krishna, how it's done. The Valley of a Thousand Hills offered a scenic setting for a weekend retreat and after a half-hour road trip from Durban, Krishna Priyadasa was taking a relaxing walk around the grounds of the Vuleka Centre. Blissfully beyond the hubbub of the city, this was the perfect venue for a weekend spiritual retreat presented by Devi Mohan. Devi is not only the wife of Brahma Rishi Mohanji but also one of his disciples. Constant connectivity is part of the new normal, but it also means we are constantly being bombarded with information and distractions. It does become a bit overpowering and we really need some time out. That is why I am looking forward to meeting Devi Mohan, who is going to be our guide on this residential retreat. Hello, how are you? Oh. Such a pleasure meeting you. If you had to sum up yourself in a minute, who is Devi Mohan? I would prefer to avoid a strong identity with Devi Mohan. It's a pretty much a new name for me, right? Uh, last one year and a half. Before that, um, my name was Biliana, and I come from former Yugoslavia. But I've consciously chosen the name Devi Mohan because it's part of my spiritual path. I connect uh, to divine mainly through the mother and that's uh, in India I've discovered the different angles to the mother or different expressions which we don't quite have in Christian world and it just appealed to me so much and all of it uh, made a lot of sense as I explored myself through, through yoga, through experiential spirituality and I really, I could say, found, who, found out who I really am. Uh, so for me, Devi Mohan is somebody who's completely comfortable in who she is. What is the idea behind the residential retreat? Retreats, amazing opportunity to use the time to the maximum to first undergo cleansing, uh, shake up the whole, all this stale kind of blocked energy that we carry. It's mainly made of our fears, our anxieties, our blockages of various sorts. So we work on for so shaking it up a little bit opening the pathways for the energy to flow and then just fill it up with lots of love and uh, inspiration so that people really come out of that retreat transformed. It involves yoga, it involves meditation, interaction where we talk and, and kind of help people intellectually understand things and bring to awareness that we are not just this body and there is something far greater and far greater purpose for all of us for being here. Yoga has been called India's gift to the world but many of us don't really understand what it is or realize the many benefits that it offers. Fortunately, Devi has a deep understanding of the physical and spiritual aspects of yoga, which is happy to share with her students. What would you say are some of the misconceptions about yoga? First conception, it's just one of the sports out there. It is not. It enhances the anabolic processes. So after yoga, you actually feel light as a butterfly. You feel complete and full. Yoga has this unique ways of through extension, flexion, inversion. We actually reach out to the inner organs that we can't reach even through the massage or through any sport. The mentally and spiritually revitalizing program of yoga, meditation and group puja was complemented by the wholesome simplicity of vegan meals which also created an opportunity for everyone participating in the retreat to share their ideas and experiences. It's beautiful. It's been a, an amazing experience. Very enlightening, very empowering. What I have learned uh, in terms of yoga is more than just the physical benefits. It has a lot to do with the spiritual benefits and mindfulness, being mindful with the asanas and the positions and increasing your life force energy. So it increases your mental state of mind and it just increases ser serotonin levels in your body, uh, in your mind and overall well-being and health. You know what it's like when your inbox is so full and it's almost impossible to get out the important information from the junk mail? Well, that's how life sometimes seems to me. This weekend retreat has helped me get my thoughts into control, alter my outlook and delete all the unnecessary mental clutter. It's an emotional and spiritual reboot and well worth a weekend offline.